Hey loves, it's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm sending you my love, my blessings to each and every one of you guys. So we're going to see what's going on for you guys. If you're dealing with your twin flame, this reading can certainly resonate for you guys. I'm just going to see what messages Spirit wants you to know. So um, this is the energy update. We're going to delve right in. Um, if you want a personal love reading, you know where to find me. The link is in the description box. If you want a personal reading, you can also go to my Etsy shop. I have my personal readings there, my tarot, my oracle cards, and my spiritual jewelry, okay? So let's jump right in. I have a mixture of tarot, oracle cards here. Let's jump right in. All right, so Spirit, what's going on for my Twin Flames? What do they need to know? Clear messages here. Clear messages for my Twin Flames. All right, we have self-sabotage here. So it does look like your person sabotaged um, a great thing, right? A lot of you guys, you had this incredible connection with them. And I'm getting like all of a sudden, they turned things over. They, they changed up. They became a whole different person, okay? A lot of you guys, they sabotaged this relationship, something that was going so good, okay? Now, some of you guys... Um, there's a lot of dark energy here, you know, but this particular deck is very dark. Um, so this self-sabotage could have been a result of, um, you know, could have been some karma here, okay? Your person could have sabotaged because they were in a dark place, okay? A lot of you guys, they could have been recovering from something that, or healing from something here that they have never healed, or there's something here that they were being revisited, okay, from the past. Let's get some more information. cycles came out so a lot of you guys you've been through many different cycles with this person i'm getting like you know cycles over and over and over and not completing okay you have entrapment so your person could be feeling very much stuck right now okay so a lot of you guys um i'm getting there's some there's some energy of this mental conflict here okay with this entrapment card and self-sabotage is telling me that your person could have been up in your head this is someone who could have been really struggling um suffering in silence they weren't really sharing that with you this is someone who could have gone through um you know cycles that you know over and over and they weren't learning their lesson they weren't getting the memo all right they could have sabotaged other relationships just like this okay um now with regard to you and your person, I feel like this connection was very unique, okay? And it's actually keeping them feeling stuck because even after you guys have separated, your person is feel still feeling empty. They're still feeling stuck. They're still feeling um, like, what was that for? Why did I do this? So there could be a lot of um, energy of feeling guilt because they sabotaged something really good. And now they're thinking about it. Um, I'm also getting the energy of your person, you know, they're going through, there's some nightmares, there's some night terrors and everything that they're dealing with now as a result of sabotaging. I'm getting there's something at nighttime or when things are still, they're being reminded of the past and it's keeping them feeling tied and stuck and bound. It's like the eight of swords. So your person may be going through many cycles of like this depressive energy of sadness, okay? I'm getting endless row of sadness and um, of something that they've done here so let's get the epiphany i'm gonna get some more messages for you guys let's get some shuffles in here so this entrapment is very much i'm getting an in their head it's very much mental because of what they did that sabotages connection stepping out of my comfort zone came out so for some reason your person um this connection was challenging them to take that first step Okay, take that step toward, you know, moving toward a committed relationship or really being vulnerable, opening up to you. And I feel a lot of you guys, they weren't ready. Okay, it required them to take that big, bold move. And a lot of you guys, they they were not ready to step out of the comfort zone. It's like the fool, right? They weren't ready to take that risk. And so what they do is they stay in this place of comfort. They they were fine with just being where they were, where they were just playing around, being foolish, um, may have been dealing with many multiple casual partners, okay? Um, and I feel a lot of you guys, you had to set clear boundaries with this person. You had to tell them that you weren't looking for that. You had to tell them that you, you wanted more, that you deserved more. And you shouldn't have to tell that to anybody. So I think a lot of you guys, um, you had to speak up. 
When you set clear boundaries, you're telling your person, okay, I don't want to be treated like this. I don't appreciate you coming home after hours, after, you know, we said we had plans and you never show up. You never call me. You never tell me what's going on. Um, I don't appreciate you hiding your phone and, get, you know, you, you're telling this person, you know what? This is what I'm looking for and this is what I'm not going to tolerate. I feel a lot of you guys, your person has not respected these boundaries, okay? You have to set these boundaries over and over and over, okay? A lot of you guys, honestly, you shouldn't even have to set these boundaries. <laughs> you know, you had to set boundaries for things that you shouldn't even have to ask for in relationships. So I do feel your person was definitely not ready, okay? Maybe they weren't ready to commit. They weren't ready to uh, make the sacrifices that you were looking for at the time. Um, we have choosing the right path for us. So a lot of you guys, unfortunately, the right path is separation right now, okay, where things stand. Because what it's telling me is that you guys are being guided to go down different individual paths to focus on your healing, okay? Healing of past trauma, open wounds, past life situations and things that you haven't healed. It's all coming up because this connection is triggering that, okay? So I do feel a lot of you guys, you guys are on different paths right now, um, but it's it's the right path for you. But I do feel a lot of you guys, your person is thinking about what that path could look like if you guys came back, okay? The right path for you guys together. There's something about thinking ahead and thinking what it would look like if we actually came together and went down the same path because your person wasn't ready to go down the same path, right? They were doing their own thing. They were... Don't know. They were just, they didn't want you to know everything they were doing. They were being maybe very secretive. They were being very closed off. A lot of you guys, they didn't want to be tied down. Okay. So a lot of you guys, your person was on, you know, doing their own thing, but now they're thinking about what would the right path look like for us. Okay. So we also have ready and willing and able, ready, willing, and able. So your person is in like in this energy of trying to prepare um, to be better, trying to prepare for a union, trying to um, build themselves up. This is someone who may be trying to um, get themselves um, in the mindset of thinking together, not thinking for themselves, because this is someone who could have been very selfish. They only thought about themselves, um, only thought about you know things that would convenience them, and they didn't put you first, right? You perhaps felt like, just another number. You felt like just a third party, okay? Some of you guys, this person didn't give you all the time and attention. They didn't um, make you feel important, like you were valued to them. So your person is now um, preparing themselves. They're, they're trying to better themselves. We have the ready, willing, and able, wanting to now um, be able to protect you, to take care for you take care of you, to meet your needs, okay? This is someone who had issues with that or they, they weren't able to. So now they're not just thinking for themselves. They're thinking and putting themselves in your shoes, how you want to be treated. We also have sitting in a puddle of self-pity. So your person feels awful for something they've done. There's an energy of guilt, okay? Remorse, feeling sad. There's some tears or some water here. So your person does have emotions, even if they don't really show it all the time. And now they're in this um, low vibrational energy. They're really feeling sad about something they could have done, okay? Or they didn't do regarding this connection. So again, there's some self-sabotage. There's some self-pity. Um, we also have not your typical love story. So a lot of you guys are realizing that this there was no nothing typical about this um, relationship, right? This is by far anything... This is by far unlike anything you've ever experienced, right? And a lot of you guys, um, you may have gone through and had other relationships that were twice as long or that were, you know, maybe you thought the time was very serious, right? But a lot of you guys, there's something about the energy between you and your twin and it's very powerful. And for some reason, when you guys connected, maybe you didn't realize how powerful it was initially, okay? But for some reason, when you guys separated the way it happened, it's, it has triggered you. It has really brought forth this big, big awakening within yourself. And a lot of you guys, you are, you are, you are coming into alignment with your higher self. A lot of you guys, you're becoming more spiritual. You're learning about your spirituality. So there's definitely something here that's not, that's not typical. There's nothing typical about this connection, right? So let's see what other messages we have. Let's get um, what's this deck here. The Wisdom of the Oracle, that's what it's called. 
please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy these Twin Flame readings. I know I've been a little missing in action, right? <laughs> okay, we got truth be told. So it looks like, you know, a lot of you guys, there's there's truth that has to come out. A lot of you guys, your person withheld the truth from you. Um, I feel a lot of you guys, you've been wanting this person to become, you know, to speak to you, to tell you what really happened. There's the energy of... Um, wanting clarity okay i think a lot of you guys who have not gotten clarity on why something happened um why did they do you wrong why did they ghost you okay so there's something about the truth that has to be told here and a lot of you guys they have not spoken the truth we have deep knowing okay so this deep knowing talks about your intuition okay a lot of you guys you're very connected to yourself um you're very intuitive okay you're connecting with your higher self the spiritual realm you have a deep deep knowing of what this connection is sometimes you guys ask me all the time like you know am i dealing with my twin is this my twin i get like you know the personal readings everyone always asks me is this is this a twin flame connection you will just know. A lot of you guys, you will know if you're on a twin flame journey. You will have that deep knowing, okay? It's like implanted inside of you. You don't need to ask anyone else. You don't need to ask a tarot reader. You will know if you're on a twin flame journey, right? Um, and this deep knowing is really about you also knowing your person. You knowing how they really felt about you. Some of you guys, they were very closed off. They um, didn't express. They were uncomfortable with expressing. They may have lied and said, oh, I don't I don't love you. Um, I never loved you. Or they said these horrible, very insensitive, mean, cold words. And a lot of you guys, you know the truth. You know how this person felt about you. It's, in, it's within you. You have a deep, deep knowing. A lot of you guys, you know your person told lies. Um... Even if you ask them, you know, they may lie to this very day, but you have a deep knowing of what the truth was. All right, we have flexible, okay? So a lot of you guys, um, you're, you're very flexible. The energy is telling me that you guys are very open-minded. You're becoming more, I mean, I think at one point, maybe you guys were very much like, you wanted things to be a certain way. You wanted your person to come back at this time. You wanted this um, this twin flame connection to be over, this twin flame journey. And sure, you want it to be over. Sure, you want a union. But a lot of you guys, you've been coming more open-minded, right? You're working with the divine. You are um, having faith that you're on this journey for a reason and you're taking advantage of it, right? You're learning so much. You're like a sponge here. And a lot of you guys, you have to be open-minded and flexible knowing that the the universe is going to take care of you, right? They didn't put you through all of this for no reason. So a lot of you guys, you are just having faith that um, this is all happening for a reason. And you know that at the end, whatever is best for you, it, it's going to work out that way. So that's what that energy is about. Let's see what else we need to know. Unfinished symphony. So this is like the unfinished business card. So there is unfinished business, right? We have cycles. Um, so yeah, there's been many cycles for sure. A lot of you guys, I'm getting, you've been on and off with this person. Maybe it's been like years or months on and off, in and out. This is someone who could have been very, very wishy-washy, up and down. They didn't know what they want, right? There's still unfinished business. Just when you think this is really done, it's unfinished. Things start back up again, okay? So a lot of you guys, even if you think that you are um, closing a chapter, you feel like you are healing, letting go, moving on, right? There's still unfinished business here. That's what the energy is saying, okay? So let's see what the tarot has to say here. What messages do we have in the tarot for my twin flames here? Messages from the tarot, please. So we have the King of Wands here. Now, the King of Wands came out in the verse here. Um, it could be a Leo, a Sag, and Aries. This is someone who wants to take action, but they're unsure. They're not really um, ready to take that big, bold move, right? Stepping out of their comfort zone. This is your person struggling to step out of their comfort zone, right? They, they're they still passionate. They still want to move towards you. They want to take action. They want some kind of change, but they don't know how to go about doing it, okay? We have the Eight of Swords. This is your person feeling stuck. This is mental entrapment. This is your person trying trying to free themselves, okay, trying to overcome something. So it does look like your person um, is in your head, 
okay there's a lot of i'm getting going over and over and over about something here that they could have done in the past um, regarding sabotaging something and this is keeping them feeling stuck okay the the idea that perhaps they sabotage something really good so they're in their head constantly thinking about replaying old memories things that they could have said to you that they really never met um, I usually don't take this many cards, but let's just go ahead. The Ten of Pentacles in verse, the Six of Wands in verse, and the Two of Wands. So it does look like your person is feeling like, you know, there there was a promise here. A lot of you guys, you guys were building this foundation for something long term. The Ten of Pentacles, and it looks like all of a sudden something just came tumbling down. Right at one point, this was very stable. It seemed like it was gonna move, um, you know, move quickly and move towards something that was very very secure and i feel like out of nowhere your person sabotaged and ruined something that was very good it looks like you guys were leading toward a very long-standing commitment maybe you guys were in a commitment or marriage and someone broke it off okay uh, we also have the six of wands and verbs so i do feel like your person they don't feel victorious in fact this is someone who's trying to figure out well how do we get how do we get out of this right they're in your head they want to move towards you. They don't feel like things have worked out for them. The Six of Wands versus someone who, you know, they didn't want this negative publicity. A lot of you guys, they feel embarrassed for something that they've done. They feel like, you know, this isn't how I really wanted or I saw this happening. Okay. And we have the Two of Wands. So now they're in this energy of trying to choose which path do I go down, right? Choosing the right path. How do I get myself out of this? How do I undo the damage that I've done? How do I move forward now? There's a lot of wands here. So there's definitely energy of wanting to take action here, but not really sure of how to maneuver the situation. Realizing that, well, things have backfired. Um, I do feel a lot of you guys, um, they didn't realize that you guys would be here, okay? Maybe they maybe they thought that you, you guys would be in this like this friend, uh casual, having this casual type of relationship with each other. They didn't think that you would pull back. They didn't think that you would be completely done with them. They didn't think, you know, there's something about your person's trying to choose, trying to make a way back. Okay, we have the Emperor in reverse. We got a lot of divine masculine energy here. So I may be tapping into a lot of divine feminines in this reading. Um, and we have the emperor in reverse, okay? So there definitely is um, your person struggling to be this person that can take care of you, that can rise up, that can make good decisions, that can take charge and ownership of the connection, that can turn things around. Your person has this full energy. So this is someone who wants to take a risk. They want to put themselves out there, right? Um, again, stepping out of their comfort zone. They want to prepare themselves for a union. We have ready, willing, and able. And that's what the emperor does. They're, they're willing, okay? They're ready to put themselves out there. They're ready. They're prepared. Um, and your person is still trying to get there. They're taking baby steps, okay? The fool is definitely someone who is like, you know what? I really want to do this, but I, you know what? I, I don't know. I'm a little scared, all right? But they know they have to take this leap of faith. All right, the King of Wands in verse, they know they have to get out of their comfort zone. They have to stop being afraid. They have to stop thinking the worst, okay? Um, and take that leap of faith, move forward in order for this connection to take off. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm going to get some um, unspoken words from my soulmates in separation for you guys. All right, let's see. What messages do we have for my twins out there? Clear messages. You accepted me for the good, the bad, the ugly. I couldn't do the same. So a lot of you guys, you just love this person, right? You may have saw that there were some red flags, but you still love them. You didn't give up, right? And they may have saw one little thing in you. They could have said like, oh, you're too sensitive. Oh, you're too emotional, right? Something stupid as the reason as to why they broke up with you. And they couldn't accept your shortcomings. They couldn't accept that maybe you weren't always perfect. Right. But when it came to them, you know, they could do this, that and the third and think that they were perfect. OK, and you you would just love them just the way they were because you loved unconditionally. I want to fight for this connection, but I just don't know how I seek strength and courage. So this is what's going on. Right. You, they want to be this emperor. They want to be ready, willing and able to take ownership of the connection, move things down the right path. But the king of wands in verse is they just don't got it together yet. They're lacking. They're lacking strength. They're lacking courage. They're lacking faith. They feel like they're not good enough. So that's why things haven't been able to move. I was misguided. I was blinded and could not see straight. So a lot of you guys, they went down the wrong path. And now they can't get back on the right path with you. Right? Now they can't. Now they can't take things down. Um, the, they can't move things down the right path because they, they've lost the direction. 
right? When you make a, the wrong turn, now you're just like, you're lost. You don't know where you are anymore and you can't seem to get back on the path that you started on. So that's what's going on. And a lot of you guys, it's been a lot of time that's passed and now they're kind of like, well, how do I get back, right? How do I get back in my, um, my person's life? They probably don't want me anymore, right? So let's see, let's get one more. You just would not understand what I'm going through. Most days, I don't even understand. So your person is, is definitely feeling trapped, right? <laughs> feeling stuck. They don't even know what they're going through. Um, there could be, you know, some big, big lessons they're having to learn. And now they're learning it, okay, during the separation, okay? But they don't, this is where they are right now. They don't even know what's happening. How did, how did we get here? Why, why did I ruin a good thing? So that's what I have for you guys. Um, I hope you guys, again, you enjoyed this reading. I hope you guys resonate with it. Please give it a like, share, comment, subscribe. And again, I'm sending you my love and my blessings. You guys all take care.